Welcome back to Fast Money, the latest target in the Reddit rebellion crashing back to earth today. Check out the action and shares of rocket companies. The stock falling more than 32 percent today after yesterday's huge run. RBC just downgraded the stock. You can read all about that on our website, cnbc.com slash pro. Meantime, let's bring in Justin Jen, the co-founder and president of ThinkNum Alternative Data, which tracks stock chatter on Reddit's Wall Street Bets board. Justin, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So you track the number of mentions stocks have on Wall Street bets. What do you use with that data? How is that useful? Yeah, well, so um, let me start by saying what we do in general. So we track uh, alternative data from the web. So we can track like where a company is opening and closing stores, who they're hiring. Um, and social media is obviously a big part of that, especially with Reddit recently. So uh, what investors really want to know is what are these stocks that uh, – People on Reddit are talking about, and then they use that um, to either potentially know when a stock could run up, or more importantly, for risk management. So if I have a portfolio and one of my stocks uh, starts getting talked about, then I want to know about that as soon as possible. So when you observe the chatter and you observe this activity uh, on social media, Justin, do you make a, a judgment or do you analyze the data to determine whether it's positive or negative? Because even from a risk management perspective, if you're a portfolio manager, I mean, the people on Reddit could be on the same side as the trade or completely opposite, as we saw in GameStop. It doesn't help you unless you know directionally um, how that commentary on Wall Street Bets is, is couched. So we provide um, kind of uh, the number of occurrences for a stock on Reddit, and then we provide the comments. Um, we don't, like, say, hey, this comment is positive or negative, because that can be kind of arbitrary. Uh, but our you know, investment, uh, our investor clients and some of the corporations that use this data, they have a lot of tools to do that sense of analysis on their own. Um, I will say that a lot of the, uh, you know, most people on Reddit tend to go long. So um, uh, usually the, the use case right now is if I'm short a stock that I want to know uh, because, you know, like a lot of these run-ups are on the long side, uh, not the short side. Okay. Let's, let's talk about um, the latest stock you picked up in terms of chatter on Reddit, and that would be Palantir. What are you seeing there? Yeah, sure. Um, so Palantir is an interesting one because it's a B2B company as opposed to B2C companies, which uh, basically everything else is. So we're seeing uh, oh, in recent days, um, the amount of chatter is spiking again. Uh, and you know it's spiking quite heavily, uh, about 30% over the past couple of days. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, it's... Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see what that does over the next few days. And, and I think I asked you this at the beginning, but I'll ask you this again. Um, so you see this chatter. Is it predictive of unusual activity or is it coincident? Um, so in many cases, it's predictive. Um, in some cases, it's coincident. Uh, you know, we don't again, we don't claim to like analyze it and say everything is predictive. So we don't make that call. But the reason why we have um, you know, hundreds of hedge funds and kind of uh, investors talking to us is because that there is there is there is signal there. All right. Justin, great to have you with us. We hope you'll join us again. Bring us some more targets. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.